Greetings, Sir and Sirettes, and welcome to the most interesting looking um, intro screen ever. Yes, a person sitting up next to a tree snoring. Welcome to The Bridge, a game I got a while back in a humble bundle. I've decided I need to do a lot more one-off games, you know, just play a game for a quick session, 30-40 minutes, have a good time with it, record what I'm doing and carry on, because quite frankly, the series I've got currently I absolutely adore, but do get a little bit tedious to record from time to time, I need a break and to do something unique and different, and this looks both unique and very different. As I said, it's called The Bridge, apparently it's a physics-based puzzle game, with a lot of manipulating the world, I haven't actually played it before, so this is the first run th with me, so hopefully we'll get through it well enough. I'm not great at puzzle games, I'm not terrible. So, it told me I can move the world side to side. Ah, there we go. Only everything. Okay, I can move him now as well. <laughs> I can move slightly. Okay, I love the style. I love the, like, scratch work, pencil work kind of style. I don't know what it's called, but I love that to bits. My fortitude to tread onwards. Oh, I see, so I need to tilt it for him so I can actually get across the hill. Okay. He's not very good at walking, apparently. He does look like an elderly chap. My integrity of wit. Hey, a house. And my home. Okay. Oh, okay, so level one. So that's just the intro just to say, look, you can slide the world around. It's kind of cool. Okay, then. Chapter one. So <laughs> look at the pictures in the background. Brilliant. Wow, there's lots of levels in chapter one. I wonder how many chapters there are. I'm hoping like the top level of the the um, house or something will probably give us more. The loft. Okay, it's been a long time since I've played a game like this. Really looking forward to it, actually. Oh, love the art style. My word, all the impossible drawing stuff going on. Oh wow, how is this meant to work? Okay, so I can actually tilt it the entire way now. Okay. Uh, back in one second though, so I just want to check a couple of settings first I'm recording with this and all that. Okay, I'm back. Just turned down the sound a little bit, did I? Now I'm turning down the sound. It's a, just a tiny bit. It's a little bit loud. Drowning out my beautiful voice. So, we've got to get to the top there, I assume. Oh! I just pressed spacebar. What's going on? Oh, it's reversing! Okay, cool. So you can actually reverse what's going on. That's cool. In case you mess up, I suppose. So I imagine I want to get down here. So the floor is now the ceiling, but how do I... Oh, is what I think is going to happen. So is this going to become a ledge? Okay, so that's became a ledge. Of course, because it's in the background, isn't it? The whole impossible drawing thing. So now I'm on this ledge, I'm in front of this. This um, second floor, so... Okay. I haven't got my mouse, otherwise I can use the pointer thing. So I'll just go around then, I suppose, and I'll be on the top floor. Oh, this is going to make me dizzy so fast. Okay, second level then, I suppose. Oh, no, still the first level. One, two, the library. Really nice artwork. See, this isn't a, this isn't the game I would have picked up myself, so I'm very happy it was in the um, humble bundle. Is that actually okay? So that's so it's all about depth. It's all about depth perception. It seems what's actually in front of what. So that says slide. From so I'm assuming if I turn it round. Ooh, the key moves. Okay, I don't know why, but I didn't think that was going to happen. So I'm guessing, ah, then I simply go past, get up there, so if I get up there like this, there we are, perfect, reversing, and then make it so I'm actually flat again. Okay, that was pretty easy, oh, these are going to be so difficult later on, aren't they? The Menace, those are really creepy pictures. Ah, fellow's a bit of a mad scientist, it's like, ooh. Um, okay. So I wanted to get to there. That seems simple. What's going to... Oh, well, I am assuming that's a ball. Okay, so the ball's going to hurt us if we get too close. Oh, I meant to do this then. Okay, I think I've got an idea. So if we do this, so it slots into there. And we carry on. Which will let us get to here. Then, what I want to do is to get this ball to where I was originally. Because then, yeah, that'll leave it all flat. Wonderful, there we go. 
So it's just a matter of just keep on turning in one direction. Oops, just flatten it out again. Hey! I hope he, I hope he keeps having this like, artwork every time. Really do love the style. The courtyard. Hey, you're outside this time. What do we have? So there's the key. Obviously, I need the key. That's where I am. There's a tree in the middle, it seems. Ooh, that's really weird. Okay, so obviously I have to get across, but... Ah. I can already see how that's going to be an issue. Okay. Ooh, turn, 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 turn. Okay. So I'm here now, at least, and everything's still the same as it was. I need to get to that key is the big issue. So how am I going to do that, then? Well, it seems like... I need to get down there. And then quickly turn, maybe, so I'll get into this hole here before it hits me. Good. Oh, then how am I meant to get there? Oh, if I twist it enough, this shouldn't go... Ni okay, and that'll let me get the key. Because it's going to simply roll upwards. Got it. Lovely. And then I simply... Oh, how do I get back, then? Oh, that's actually quick. So let's make sure the ball gets as far away as possible before I completely twist, so I can't control my character. Oh, like that, so let's just do quickly then. Go, 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 lovely. Once again, full twist on, and that way it'll roll over the tree. Excellent. Okay, already taxing my brain a little bit here. Hopefully we can carry on. And we continue. The spiral. That ball is creepy as sin. Okay. <laughs> Double locked. Oh, okay. What? Okay, the one on the right seems quite easy because of the whole depth, the whole depth perception thing. If I just carry on doing this, it should go round and down without the other one being let loose. But how's you? How are you going to get the other one though? Okay, I'm actually stuck with the other one though. I'm just looking at it right now. We twist. So that'll send this one flying down. Lovely. Welcome to the Lathian party. Okay, this one I haven't got a clue about. So if I do this... Obviously, obviously we need to get out of there. So, let me look at it for a second. I think I'm going to have to do some like, quick reflexes to kind of catch it, and I'll show you what I mean in a second. So get the key, then get the key spinning round, like so... Then it carries up. Oh no, I thought it was going to be caught up something else. So, what am I meant to do? Oh! We have to get it where the other key was. So, as it falls out, we need to quickly twist it again. So, as we twist it this way, it'll fall out. And as soon as it falls out, twist it the other way around quickly. Now. No! Oh. Maybe a little bit slower. I think I was going a bit too fast. So, twist it back a little bit sooner. Possibly. If this is even right, I think now I'm looking at it, it might be wrong. Might be wrong. A little bit earlier than that. So as soon as it starts moving. Okay, okay, okay. Yep, 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 yep. Yes! I was right. Excellent. I was going to try it one more time and I thought I was going to be wrong. Thankfully, I was right. So we just keep on twisting clockwise. That's what I was saying. Clockwise and counterclockwise. Because saying left and right makes no sense in my head. That's what I was saying this way and that way. Okay, then. Wee! Come on, key. There we go. That's what I wanted to see. Oop, a little bit further, because that guy cannot climb at all. Guess it'd be a bit too easy if you could actually just climb regularly. There we are. The nook. Okay. Oh, it's like a bookcase. Very nice. The only, the, the only complaint I've had so far about this game is I don't like the music very much. It's, it's very atmospheric, but it's just on an endless loop. Oh, d wait, how on earth am I meant to do this? Okay, let's just mess around first of all. Let's go counterclockwise. So, sorry, let, let's go clockwise. No, yeah, counterclockwise. Yes, that is counterclockwise. Of course it is, Deb. So. If we get. Okay, I think I've got an idea, but I don't like it. I quickly twist the ground. No! Done! I ended up twisting it a bit earlier. Okay. So my theory is we can possibly get that ball 
If we go clockwise, we can get the ball straight into where I was if I twist fast enough and it won't hit me. That's my theory. Theory is a good one, okay. Then just to have it twist enough so I can fall here and we're good. Okay, very good. Chapter one completed. Yay! Ooh, hello. I'm kind of half twisted right now. I finally found someone who shares my passions for esoteric mathematics. We've 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 agreed to begin work on some of my ideas. With with his help, my dreams could be realized. Oh, so hopefully we'll get some like stories we go why this is all happening. Maybe I've made math into real life or some weird thing like that. You know what I mean? Math like affecting the laws of physics. Oh, cool! So we've got the upper house now. The world is much is a much larger place when every wall is a floor. Okay, let's get on the side here. Oh, no! <laughs> I thought there was a wall! <laughs> We're straight out of the door. Okay, so apparently now we can do a full twist. Bye! Okay, so just force you back. I was going to say, we go on forever. Hello! I'm on the roof! Okay, let's get back in the house and figure out how we're even meant to get there. Shall we? Hello, house. So the door isn't closed. Okay, lesson learned. I thought we was actually in the house permanently then, but apparently you can still go out. I, I really should have explored then. We'll explore later. Okay, so there's a two and a three, so I, I assume we're going to number two. They're both for actually unlocked. Just curious. Let's go to two. Chapter two. Let's do it in order. I'm, I'm hoping there's more than three chapters. I imagine there is. Okay, uh, the vortex. The vortex. Some form of um, cemetery there. Oh, I'm guessing that's the vortex. For science, I need to know what that does. I'm going to walk into it. What do you do, sir? Oh, hoo -hoo. Oh, I see. So you're permanently trapped in it. So, so no matter what happens. Oh, then the key's an issue, isn't it? I would say just go counterclockwise straight away. But then I'm going to fall into the vortex. Ah, but if I'm high enough, maybe. No, don't go to the key. Why would you do this? Poop. Okay, so let's see how far I can get. So get as far as I can before twisting it, and hopefully I won't be out in the vortex as so I twist this way. No, don't think that's right. Maybe it is. I'm not sure. Ah, do it a little bit each time. Okay, so just... Because the key's heavier than I am, so it can stay where it is after I twist back. There we are. Wait, how does that help me? Oh, easily, because I can do this. So you go clockwise, and that should follow there and go to me. Lovely. Happy days. There we are. Glorious. 2-2, two -two, the precipice. A nice picture of me. <laughs> Another um, impossible structure. And a huge vortex. Which vanishes. Why is that good then? Because couldn't I just do this? Then it'll let me go eventually. No, I'll just carry on walking. Okay, I'm going to be even faster than that. There we are. I'm guessing there's going to be vanishing vortexes in the future, and that's this is just kind of introducing us to the topic. Love the background. Let me go. Thank you. <laughs> Almost perfect where we started. Lovely. Yeah, that was far too easy. It's going to be very cruel soon. <laughs> Little mini vortexes just found. I'm assuming he's done something and it's caused this all to happen, is the logic I'm going with here. There's an evil ball. Caught in a vortex. Um, and a button. That's what I assume is a button. Oh, is it? Ah, well. What am I meant to do here then? Oh, I know what I need. Okay, I need the ball to land on this, don't I? So that way it's permanently turning off the vortex. How am I supposed to do that? I'm sorry. Well, obviously I can't do it that way then, so it has to be, has to be counterclockwise. 
Maybe if I carry on. Oh, of course. Can I still continue to? Yeah, okay. I can continue to change the world whilst I'm in the vortex. I didn't know that. Which means if I just carry on counterclockwise, it should. Lovely. Okay, I get it. And then, it, then, then, as we go back, it'll simply get caught in the vortex again and save my life. The pillars. Okay, this looks... What? Oh, impossible structures everywhere, jeez. Huh. Let me just get my head around it a second. So, as I move, obviously the key's going to move as well. That's a... Uh, ooh, can the key set off the button? I don't think it will, so it tells me no. Okay. So I assume I'm using the button then to hold the key in place. Actually, I think I know what I need to do already. So I need that key to get in the vortex, so I twist it that way. Okay, let's go clockwise again. So we go on the... Oh, I know, I don't go on the button yet, do I? Okay, I don't want to go on the button yet. Ignore what I just said. So let's flatten ourselves and... So it's this way. Then I go on the button. And that should cause the key to slide. Yes, there we are. And, oh, wait, how am I meant to get to the key then? Oh, I know. I know, I know. Counterclockwise, just just until that becomes my... Oh, dear. <laughs> just until the one we just slid the key on becomes my solid platform, which it isn't doing. Why oh, is it not doing that? Should do that, shouldn't it? seem a bit more harsh because it only becomes like a solid platform when you're facing the right way so if I'm fast enough that one should become a platform for me no oh I'm not, I was looking at the wrong one anyway so this one I wanted to do it probably would have I was fast I well have had more of a run up but I didn't there we go thankfully we don't die from full damage that would make this game a bit difficult the mausoleum okay what's going on here then oh what? Where am I? Oh, hello! What actually happens if I touch you? I vanish from... And my last memory was that of pain. <laughs> Keeps your death position as well. I don't... Okay, what happens if I go gun button? Okay, that's where... That's, that's, that's what's... It is becoming difficult then. So I need the ball, obviously, to hit here. Let's go back to the top. So how is that a thing then? How does that occur? Okay, if I go down here then. Okay, I think I'm thinking about no way. Just carry on counterclockwise until the ball starts rolling. Ah, I'm getting caught though, aren't I? Nope, never mind, that's a stupid idea. Ah, no, no! Ah. How does this help me? Um, poop. I'm sure some of you already know the answer and are yelling at me, but I've never been good for spatial puzzles. So, obviously I don't want the ball down there. I'm kind of working it all the way down, which I don't want to do. Okay, we've got a theory. Don't think it's correct though, honestly. Look at that. Keep me in the middle. And this way I can get back on the top. No, nope, that's not gonna work. That's not gonna work at all. Oh, that ball's in such a bad place. How are you meant to Okay, now the ball's following me just then. Oh! Possibly if I can just get... Oh no, because that's the same issue. I was going to say, if I, could, if I could get myself into the vortex. But of course, that's the whole issue we're having. It's not going to happen at the moment. I need this ball to hit the button. So how would I do that? 
without myself getting squished. Goodbye. Without myself getting squished. Because I could get down in the vortex, but the ball would have to go first, which isn't what I want to happen, obviously. What I want to happen is the ball to get where I am and me past the ball. If I go now, I'm just going to ram into it, aren't I? Yep. Oh, no, too soon. So I'm just going to follow the ball. But uh, explain to me, evil demonic ball creature, how are you meant to do this? I feel like a cut might have to happen here. So, let's converse, enemy of my enemy, who is my friend. I can't jump, which is really annoying because it means I can't jump over the ball. I think you may be learning to slide past first. Okay, let's get back to where I was at the start. Is there a reset button, possibly? Reset puzzle. Good. Yeah, let's reset the puzzle. Because that's taking far too long to back track. Um, we need to use the vortex before the ball gets there. Obviously, that's a thing that needs to happen. Maybe let's get the ball in there. Screw it. Let's, let's do that. Let's get the ball in there and see what possibilities um, come up when the ball is gone. Where can I stand? Which could possibly be safe. There it goes. There's nowhere that'd be safe because. Ah, oh, no, that's wrong as well. Ha. Huh. Well, this is a puzzling, perplexing thing, isn't it? You, fiendish bull creature thing, are a nuisance. And you're also meant, meant to be our saviour on this map, but, uh, nope. I'm going to just cut here for a second, I'm going to have a quick look around, have a quick think about it, and then I'll be right back, because right now I'm honestly completely stumped. As soon as I paused, I had an idea which I hadn't checked before. There's a whole section around where the ball dropped, which I haven't used yet. I don't know if that's correct, so I could be just going back into the whole me messing around thing, but I've got a theory that possibly... Oh, wait. Yeah, if we get the ball into that space, then we go into the vortex ourselves. There we go, like that. So obviously we don't want it to come back up, so let's do it. I'd be careful, I'll just make sure the ball thing. I don't know why it's actually called. Actually, we did see the name. What was it called? It was the monster or the... the. I want to say menace, but I could be incorrect. You know what? We're calling it the menace from now on because calling it the ball is just weird. There we are. And then I go into here. But is there a way for... Of course, I, I, can, take, I can do any route I want now because I'm trapped in the vortex. As long as the ball doesn't go into the vortex, I'm perfectly okay. Oh, what an obvious solution. Completely stumped me. I don't know why, but I didn't see that as a viable area of the puzzle. There we go. Continuing. The Memorial. So, 2-6. Okay, a vortex. A menace. I'll call it a menace. I'm not certain of it right now. Oh, I'll start off there. Okay. So obviously, no matter what happens, we need to get the ball onto the platform first. That is an obvious necessity. However, once the ball's on the platform, how am I meant to get... Okay, we have to be very fast at the turning, just keep on turning. Okay. So then that falls there. So... I suppose I'll just let the ball fall to oblivion? No, I can't. I didn't realise it was there. So the ball needs to stay in play. I can move it off the vortex right now, but I can't get it out of the map. Because if I get it off the map, then... Well, I've lost the ability to use that anti-vortex thing. I could try and trap it in the vortex. No, that'd be stupid. Yeah, no, it wouldn't be terrible. Maybe? Possibly. So what happens if I just keep on turning this way? Nope. Oh, ah, I think I might get in the way. So we do that, and then we bounce at this. Oh, it's hoping to go over me. Looks really cool in slow motion, the death. No. 
and then as soon as it starts falling, go there, and yes, there we go. It's in the vortex. So now, at our leisure, we can go and get the key. Oh, that's a slight issue of getting the key. Um, well, if we get it to dangle, we could grab it and then just keep on twisting and go back. Nope, not happening. Ah, oh, my word! Puzzles! You're so evil! Why would you do this to me? Ah, No, actually, because how much space there is up here, we might be able to... No. I was going to say, we might be able to go way around. Um, obviously, obviously, I need to stop the pause a little bit later. There we go. Maybe like this, and then we can try and snatch... Nope. And then I plummeted into eternity. Well, sir and sir, I think I'm actually going to call it here, because, well... It's going to take a while for me to realise this. If you did like this game, please tell me in the comments below. Probably won't make a series on it. Ah, I might complete the game, who knows. I enjoyed it a lot, though. Really good game, actually. Love the artwork. Ah... Darn, such difficult puzzles. If you do enjoy it enough, I might finish the game. If you are enjoying, enjoying the random videos, the sort of short videos on different games I've got, then also comments below are very appreciated. Likes, etc., of course, very welcome. Thank you for watching, Sir and Hope to see you next time. Have a nice day. I'm going into the vortex. Does he kill me? Oh, he does kill me as well. So creepy. Okay, okay, I lied. I couldn't take it. I couldn't just leave it. Half done. And also, it turns out, yeah, after I exited, it's the last one in section two. I can't just leave it as it is. So all that goodbye and malarkey was all false. And I'm leaving it in there as well, because why not? So let's figure this out together, Sir and Threads. I had, had one, one idea about the key, but honestly, after that, I'm still stumped. So let's see. Well, obviously, this needs to be done first still. We need to get that on the pressure pad, or button, I don't know what you want to call it, the menace. Needs to go on the button. Statue, so creepy. Which allows me to go past. Yay. Ooh, but oh, no, 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 no. God damn it, ball. There we are. Just enough so I can actually get past. Be nice. There we are. And then we put the menace back in its home of the vortex. There we go, without getting me, hopefully. So, once we get on top of there, the key, as we saw before, gets thrown to the bottom, which is really, really annoying. So we need that, obviously, to be the way around. So if I keep twisting this, just ignore the menace, pretend it doesn't exist. Like that. Aha! Yes, I was right, so it will get stuck on that side. So it's all about getting stuck. Ah, I don't know why I didn't think about that. That's not a terrible thing to think of. Now, obviously, now here's where my mind blanked. How am I meant to do this bit then? The only thing I think of is maybe doing it similar to how I got the menace in there in the first place. Except for the menace and me are both traded places. So if I can right on the edge, maybe I can. Oh, too sharp. Maybe I can die. Maybe I can. Ooh, slip bumps, thank you. Okay. Wow, that little pet patch of grass isn't actually there. Okay. Let's be very careful. No menace, please. Get, stay there. Let's get it flat. Okay. Now, I want to go into the vortex without the menace following suit. There we are. Then we'll just put the menace back on its button. I really hope it's called the menace now. I might look at the... Uh, while I'm editing this, have a look at it. And it's like, oh, it's called the scoundrel. I'm very upset. There we go. Take that menace. Actually, you know what, Menace? You can go off the world. No, you can't. What am I doing? There we are. Lovely. Chapter 2 completed. Hey, you got an achievement for it as well. Wonderful. There's another picture of an older fellow this time. We're like children with a bottomless toy box, creating and exploring, limited only by our imaginations. We cast aside the theories of old and invent new ones beyond the method of our reason. And Sorry, beyond method or reason. Our own world. Maybe it's just in this guy's head. My home. Ooh, what has happened now I've done number two? Oh, it's got to be... 
Oh, I didn't realize there's a whole attic look. There's a whole um, attic um, area up there you can't get to yet. So that's where number four is going to be, I guarantee it. I wonder if there's a window. Oh, I was going to go for flying through a window here. But first, before we, before we go, I need to see, has anything changed in the outside world where we started off on the tree and such? Since now we can, as you can see, alter it a lot, a significantly higher amount compared to what we did originally. Oh, we can go past the tree. But where to is the question, with the apophol- Ooh! There is things. Another tree. The same- Oh, it's an endless loop if you go leftward. If you go left. Now, the question is, if I go right, will I instantly go back towards the house, or will I have to pass all those trees again? I don't have to pass- oh, okay, that's very cool. Endless looping. Okay, how about the other way? Needed to check this out, just had, a, had, an, had an itch as soon as we got back to the house. So this way leads us to... Ruins, rubble... The tree again! And then we go back to the house. But that makes no sense, because that way indicates a round little mini world we're in, but the other way indicates, okay, well, logical brain explosion there. Got our lovely uh, things everywhere, got, got the apples in the house. Well, thank you for watching Sinister This is the true end. Everything I said before applies now. Likes, comments, favourite shares and all that, very much welcome. Thank you very much for watching Sinister Threads and goodbye. I will make sure to post a link to the Steam page of this game in the description below in case you're interested in it yourself. I think I will be finishing this myself, so if you want me to record it, then you know what to do. Thank you for watching and goodbye.